I want to talk to you about the 2300 days which Daniel prophesied. Now, this is in Daniel 8, um, verse 14, on which Daniel says, um, he hears one saint speaking and they're asking about the end times, the abomination, the desolation, uh, and the sanctuary, the temp you know, the holy place in Jerusalem being given over to trodden underfoot and the city trodden like it says in Revelation 11 that the city will be destroyed Jerusalem will be destroyed in 42 months uh, now the answer that came back was for 2300 days um, then the sanctuary will be cleansed so for 2300 days the holy place the temple mount will be cleansed now but just think about the meaning of what the angel says there he said it will be cleansed after 2000 now if i was to say to you your house will be clean after 2300 days then you'd immediately think that means my house is going to be dirty for 2300 days that's exactly what the scripture means it means that during the period of 2300 days the sanctuary the holy place the temple mount will be dirty and then after the 2300 days when jesus returns to earth and defeats the forces of evil it will be cleaned so first thing is 2300 days now let's try and work this out 2300 days on in the Gregorian calendar which is uh, 365 days you know January February 12 months to the year because it's uh, easier for a lot of people to understand the Jews have a different calendar but for the sake of um, teaching to the masses I want to use that calendar specifically 2300 right well if you add up the number of days 365 days in six years uh, and discounting this um, discounting the, the leap year now this is this is a very approximate um, prophecy about events and timings this is not date setting this is telling you what the scripture says and it's telling you that an event's going to happen and scripture tells you that them events are going to take take a certain amount of time this is not date setting on anything 2300 now if you add up six years and take away that number of six years of days number of days away from 2300 you come up with an excess of uh, 110 okay so that 110 if you divide it by the average number of days in a Gregorian year uh, month then you come that's about 30.4 I think the proper number is but the you come up with 110 days will be three and a half months which is interesting because anyone who knows the scriptures knows god's number is seven but lo loads of events are three and a half three and a, after three and a half days jesus rose the two witnesses are going to rise from the dead after three and a half days you know three and a half years of the tribulation three you know there's loads won't go into it too long three and a half so 2300 days equals six years and three and a half months okay for the temple mount to be dirty now i want to throw something out there now is that i believe first of all i'll just tell you what i believe and i'll prove why i believe it is i believe that this 2300 days will actually begin you know it sounds amazing enough but i think it'll i believe it'll actually happen starting in december this year 2016 and the reason being is we mentioned the temple mount okay we've got the temple mount we've got the temple that will be rebuilt in the end times we have the jews in israel basically the wall the city the jews there all that's left is for the temple to be built and then that's the thing that's going to give birth to the coming of the messiah but also just to note that the false messiah turns up first and he is allowed to continue 
for three and a half years well the woman has fled into the wilderness but I won't go into that on one of my last videos I discussed the, the absolute um, duplication of the first coming and the second coming the woman giving birth and all that but uh, I won't go into it but we know the temple will will be rebuilt okay so for that to happen they have to start building it first of all and we know that they say from seven to you know 12 months they could rebuild the temple everything's ready for it to be rebuilt this is another sign that you know it's going to be rebuilt because supernaturally it's happening you know all the things are coming into play now we know from the scripture is there's a woman Virgo who gives birth okay Revelation 12 now that birth happens in September the 23rd 2017 but let me put in you know a time of December 2016 this is because nine months before she gives birth the king Jupiter enters her on that December so it impregnates the woman basically this is going to mean something you can't say you can't deny this one because you cannot deny it Jupiter the king aside get impregnates her and then Revelation 12 it says that the woman is a woman clothed with a sun and the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars and she's ready to give birth and the, the symbol of the birth or the symbol of the birth of the second coming of Jesus Christ is the Ju Jupiter the king in her which has been there for nine months and now you see what I mean when I say taking so much time to build it I believe that from that December 2016 it will start to be getting built or at least the plans or they'll start work on it from December and I believe they'll finish it in September 2017 nine months later right and that woman's ready to give birth that's goes that go that's going from Bible scripture and that's going from signs in the heaven I will make say well that, that seems a bit quick and you know are you sure like I say, Revelation 12, the sign in the heaven, we know that to be September the 23rd, 2017. Well, here's the thing. If you go back to Revelation 11, John sees, and this is not a future prophecy. He says he sees the temple and he's told to measure it. So by Revelation 11, which comes before Revelation 12, which becomes before September the 23rd, he sees the bricks and mortar temple which has been um, which has been rebuilt so you know if Revelation 11 comes before Revelation 12 and that happens in September and you know and then you have this birth period of impregnation of nine months it just seems so much you know it seems so prophetic that this will be the time of the temple being built and then finished before September the 23rd 